What is up YouTube? It's Kingfisher745. And welcome to episode 53 of All Hail the King. In this episode, we have the Man of La Mancha, aka the runaway Victor Mancha. Now you may have seen my previous PvP video of him, but this one has the team ups that I was really excited for. We're going to have the Master of Magnetism, the Mighty Thor, and Captain Marvel. But before we start, make sure you check out the From the Hellcarrier podcast, and the corresponding link will be in the description below. So here we are with our first team up, and all I can say is it's really vicious. I decided to use Victor, Magneto, and the Quick and Powered Ice Await, then also the Thunderstrike and Magnetic Pulse Cannon. What we're going to do in our very first turn with Victor is use his level 2 AoE attack. For now, we have the Ionizing A-ISO on it, so it causes static charge, magnetized, downgrade, and radiation exposure. Those debuffs will really get the ball rolling. They're going to help out Magneto, and also cause our agent, who is a protector, to counterattack with the Thunderstrike. Plus, it's going to give us a Volt, so that our agent can use his Magnetic Pulse Cannon. And did I mention Chain Lightning, aka Static Charge? You'll be seeing a ton of that. In fact, there's our Thunderstrike counter, and it not only hits Null, it triggers Static Charge on all the enemies. The other great news about our current situation is we do get a big and fast proc. So with that, we'll use our one quick action item, the Fire Tornado. Although I'll be honest with you, exhausting the enemies isn't quite as crucial as it once was. Still, it won't hurt against Null. Also, by the way, we're not quite as worried about Null's preemptive counter, because Ragnarokum Sockum isn't that vicious. It's certainly no Fatal Fist. Now you're about to see that Pulse Cannon in action, and it's stealthy, it's going to trigger Static Charge, and it has a chance to cause Ozone, Crackle, Fried Circuits, or even Static Charge itself. It's a pretty nasty AoE Electric attack. The other bonus is, even if the enemy inexplicably manages to dodge, you still get that Static Charge proc. And after all that, the enemy team is severely crippled. Plus, they're going to take a Discharge because of Crackle, and that's the end of the enemy agent. Next, with my agent, we unfortunately cannot use the weather control device. So I'm debating either using the Thunderstrike or once again firing our cannon. I think I'm going to go with our AoE, that way we make sure Null is taken out and we'll get some further damage from Static Charge. Then Magneto's going to go before Spiral so hopefully he can finish her off. Okay, but not before Macabre Fandango. Luckily though, Null's gone. And now with Magneto, just to be safe, we'll use his level 9 as a quick action, and then his level 2. Basically though, he's going to hit and crit, and that means over 10,000 damage. In all honesty, this team definitely holds their own in PvP, and because of that, this won't be the last you'll see of them. But, we mentioned three teams on the podcast, and three teams it will be. So next up is Mighty Thor. We'll begin by using Inspire Bravery, and then I'm going to use his level 2 on the enemy agent. This will cause static charge because of his A-ISO, so that should help out quite a bit. As far as his summon thunder, we're going to save that until he has 3 stacks of might. When we hit with that, we want it to be huge. Alright, so next up is the horseman, and he's going to use Jekyll and Hyde on our agent. That's unfortunate, but at least we are up next. So with my agent, I'm going to use the fire tornado, especially since we see the signpost on the enemy agent. And then after that, I'm going to use the Thunderstrike, hopefully hitting the enemy agent and triggering Static Charge. So let's see what type of damage we can get. Okay, it's very little, but we do also get 500 from Chain Lightning. Then next, the evil enemy agent's going to use the Abbot of Helmet, and due to being exhausted, that's the end of their turn. That's good news for Victor because he's going to unleash his catastrophic attack. And now Static Charge will be set up on all the enemies. After this, the Invisible Woman hopefully doesn't force cage our Thor. That's really the only thing that would ruin our game. And instead she puts it on Victor. So now it's time for the Mighty Thor to once again summon Thunder. And this should be a great attack. Plus, we did put Shield Breaker on it. So take that invisible woman. Now after that big hit, their agent is gone and their team lies in ruin. Furthermore, their beast is going to attack our victor, who's still protected by a force cage. So thank you, Sue. 
This will leave my agent free to first use a hailstorm, and then we're going to fire our cannon. And you know what? There's one thing I have to say about these Victor teams. They actually worked out very efficiently. It didn't take them more than a few minutes to take down pretty much any team I faced. I mean, that's fantastic, because there's nothing I hate more than a 5 minute plus battle. It just tends to get boring to me. So hopefully that's something that's in the past. And if that trend continues, then we may get to have more than 3 battles in a video. Speaking of 3, here's our third and final team up. We're using Victor with Captain Marvel, and that's due to her rally. As my quick action, we're now using the Neurotrope, and since we plan to have Victor protecting, then I'm using the Generalist Trench. I'm also using the Uter Pendragon, which is a farmable weapon, and it's going to take advantage of those Finest Hour buffs. Now, unfortunately, the enemy agent does use Fire Tornado. That would hurt our plan a little bit, but instead we have the perfect storm. We have the Mystic Shroud, so that protects us from Exhausted. Then, because of our counterattacks, Captain Marvel's going to use her Photon Blast. That grants Victor Rally. The next buff action becomes a quick action. This means his level 6 Calculator Kid is now going to be a QA. A QA, you say? That's right, it's going to be a quick action, and so he'll give himself Crackling Shield and Static Cling. With Static Cling, he'll protect and counter attacks made by enemies with Static Charge, and he'll have a guaranteed hit. Then, since that was a quick action, we use Magnet Man, and that's going to place Static Charge on all the enemies. It works out perfectly. So now he's going to protect, and after getting attacked, he counters with a Dragon Claw. That also triggers Static Charge on both enemies. It really won't take too much more before this enemy team is knocked out. So even the dreaded Kurth, and yes, a nerfed Null, are going to regret ever tangling with Victor Mancha and Captain Marvel. Our Kree Strike obliterates Null, and now we only have Kurth left. So with our rally, we'll use the Light Fantastic, and that is a quick action. Then we're going to use the Uter Pendragon on Kurth. By the way, this weapon also makes us immune to stun, so it really is worth farming. And our attack does over 7,000 damage non-crit. Sadly, we do get hit with the Stonebreaker, and the Rune Explosion is way overpowered. But now is Victor Mancha's time to shine. We're going to use his level 1, and we're going to get a pretty nice crit. So 8400 damage, and that's the end of the fight. It's also going to end this video, so I hope you enjoyed it. And I want to thank you all for watching. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, good luck, and take care.